Hello, Coach Dan John. This is Walter. Uh, I finally got that bar done for you. Sorry, I look a little bit scruffy. I just finished it uh, today, so I was kind of excited. I want to do a little quick video before I ship it out to you. Um, it's actually my third prototype that I've made. I'm actually working on a fourth that's going to kind of clean up some of the issues with this one. Not that there's any really issues, but I just want to make it more smooth and streamlined. Um, but this bar will work really well. So test it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm actually going public with this, so I don't care who sees it. Show it to anybody you want. Um, I'm not going to try to get a patent on it because it's just too much of a pain in the butt, and I don't have the money for it. Tried, I tried approaching a couple companies, but uh, all they wanted to do is basically have me hand the idea over. Even if I did a non-disclosure agreement, they were like, um, well, we could be working on this in the background, so I just said forget it. I'm going to show you a little bit how to set it up and use it and uh, you should be getting it in, I don't know, maybe a week or so. So anyway, let's go. Okay, so I guess first off, I'll give you kind of a little preview look-see of the bar here. So I used tubing, polished it up somewhat, though the center didn't polish really good because it's like stained. Um, there's a little extension. That end right there works as your stop for your plates. So you can slide plates on the end of the bar right there and uh, this part here will stop it. I put my name on it <laughs> just because, hey, I made it. I call it the crusher. My bar, I name it. Anyway, uh, there's the inner collar. You can see this end here is shorter and that inner collar centers these two handles right in the middle of the bar. And there's your other stop uh, collar. So you slide plates on that end and it stops it. Slide plates on the other end and you can put a collar on both ends, keep the plates from falling off and also that'll lock your handle into the middle and it's not gonna go anywhere that way. And I decided not to use pins and um, things like that because it'd just be more difficult to design and more things that could fail. I taper fit the ends of the handle right here. You can kind of see that. Um, I kind of cut that, welded it, and tapered it so it fits to the bar a little snugger, and it works out pretty nice. So apologize for a little bit of the roughness on the handles there. I smoothed everything up pretty good. I don't think there's any snags that I could find on it anymore. Um, when I make my fourth prototype, I'll actually make uh, this tubing here. This is actually pipe. This is tubing. Um, this is measured by outside diameter. That's measured by inside diameter pipe is used to transfer fluids and gas like steam or oil um, as a fluid and then tubing is used for structural components like a frame for a race car or a motorcycle so there's the difference between the diameters is why it's like this uh, next one I make I'll actually make this whole section here out of pipe so it'll be smooth this is actually made out of two pieces on both ends so there's um, four pieces to make these handles a total of eight uh, they were like about four bucks a piece. I couldn't find anybody that would actually bend that tight of a radius for me without a very uh, expensive cost incurrence there, so um, I had to do it this way. Um, and then if I make an, when I make another one, I'll just make this whole bar here, this handle part, all one solid piece too. Um, I actually thought of this idea after I'd made the handle, and I I attached these two pieces here so that would form the, cow, the plate stop on this end. Well, the other thing too is there's a little groove right here. You can kind of see it. And it's the, the weld is actually good. That's just a slight groove in the pipe. And so that groove doesn't go all the way through so it's not cracked or anything. So that's not gonna fall apart. So that's nothing to worry about if you happen to notice that. So the way to take care of this thing is just I'll rub a little uh, wax on it, any kind of car wax or canuba wax or turtle wax or something like that, a little bit on a cloth. Wax it up, it'll help keep it from rusting. Um, it'll get a slight patina to it anyways, but it should be okay. If you happen to bend the bar, um, <laughs> let me know. I can get another. I can make another bar, and I'll actually make it double tubing, uh, tube inside a tube, and that'll make it even stronger. But I think you'd have to really get pretty crazy with it or put a ton of weight on it to bend it. It's pretty strong. Um, so I'll show you some different ways you can config configure this thing. Again, I apologize for being so grubby. I've just been working on this thing and I was like, man, I got it done. I got it. I want to get it to Dan John. 
So, these are Ivanko collars I got for you. I didn't know if he had any. I know these will work with this bar. So, my name here on the side doesn't seem to cause any roughness or anything. I just put it on there so people know that, hey, I made this thing. So the way I designed this is you slide this onto your pipe and the easiest way to do it is just put your handles on the ground or something or stand it up on end. Um, this thing weighs about 43 and a half pounds all together. So th I think these are like a pound a piece. So with the collars on it, it's gonna be about 45 pounds, which is the approximate weight of an Olympic barbell. So you just slide this thing into here until it hits the collar. You put the short end on this inner collar and that centers your handle exactly where you want it. Um, then you can put some plates on there on either end and lock your collar in. And then with your plates on here and you slide a collar on and lock it in, that way your handle can't slide back and forth. And the interesting thing is, is it doesn't matter that this turns because as you lift it, see it doesn't affect it at all. You know? so you don't have to worry when you're lifting. Um, <clears throat> next thing you can do, if you want to offset this a little bit, I'll put these collars over here. Kind of hard to do this out in my little backyard because this is the only area I got. I work back here and everything. Um, <laughs> but you just slide this in the other way, like this, have the long end here. And now what this does is this actually puts your handles where you can grab this. This middle one is almost centered in the middle of your bar. Um, I believe the center I measured it is like 41 inches, which is just on the other side of this bar. So this is pretty close. So you can do the same thing, is put one collar on this end over here and tighten it up so it locks this so it can't slide. And then you can put weights on that other end, way down here, and then use the other collar to lock your plates on there. And then you can do some leverage lifts without this all the way on the end. Now I haven't even put a collar, I put a collar to lock that plate on, I haven't put a collar on this end, so if I pick this thing up and I let it tip, the handle's going to slide right off, which I don't want to do that. So I put a collar on the other end, lock it in, and my handle's locked in there, and then I have a weight on this end. And so you could begin to experiment with doing some lifts with your bar in this configuration. And the, the nice thing too is, as you get stronger, you could inch this bar out simply by um, adjusting your collar out a little wider. Put my collar out here, say I want it halfway. Slide this out here. And then if you have another collar, you could actually put a collar in here so this can't slide that way. But the issue is, is chances are if it's gonna slide, you're gonna be tipped down because of the weight on the end. Uh, versus sliding this way but I only had the two collars to send you so if you have another collar that will fit this bar um, you can take this handle off all the way uh, put a collar on here and then that other collar and then you can that will lock this in from going either way and you can like I said before uh, another video that I uh, sent you privately you can grasp a hold of this bar in all types of configurations and even down here and you can flip the bar over and be able to lift it like this if you want. I'll do is I gradually work my bar out here until my bar is all the way out, my handle is all the way out on the end of this bar and then at that point you can gradually start adding weight and that's how a person could progress into doing these types of leverage lifts with a bar like that or the other thing is, is you could just keep this bar flipped around the other way, the handle on the bar, and keep it centered, the handle centered, and you can do all types of lifts like that. And it creates more of a disorderly setting because your grips and everything is so much different 
that it's going to create a lot more stressors through your body that your body has to adapt to. So <clears throat> you just experiment with it, play around with it, try using it with the handle uh, in this configuration and work your way out to the end and then use it in the other configuration and hopefully you have another collar that you can use on the inside of this if you um, if you need to. So I think when I sell them that's what I'll have to do is I'll, I'll sell them with three, three collars. I'm really hoping a manufacturer will see this and you know want to produce it but since I can't have a patent on it, can't put a patent on it or anything, it's just um, someone to take it and run with it but at least people will know that hey I'm the originator of the idea so that'll have to probably suffice. <laughs> anyway uh, have fun with it Dan John. This is Walter signing off.